Hello everyone, my name is Joe and in this video I'm going to show you how to use this little kitchen timer that I personally do not use in the kitchen because you can use it pretty much anywhere you want. So this is marketed as a kitchen timer, but like I said, I use it for work and I'm just going to show you as quickly as possible how to use it. Now, you may have noticed right now that I turned it around. This are drops of silicone hot glue that I put here because I find it that it is much easier to keep in place like in this type of uh, mouse pad and also in this type of uh, let me see if I can clear it right here in this cutting board type of thing this one the cutting board I don't remember if it's PVC or what material it is but it was really slippery, so I tried the hot glue and it works perfectly in both surfaces, in the mat and, and the cutting board. I digress. This is the kitchen timer, and as you can see, you select the time by rotating. Now, you may have already noticed that the same rotation of the dial changes both the seconds and the minutes. And at first, it can be a little tricky getting used to changing which at any given moment but the key is this when you start rotating the dial it first rotates the seconds even if I stop and I rotate again it still always rotates the seconds now the way to switch to the minutes is by turning it a little bit quicker so for example if I rotate it slowly it's the seconds but then if I go faster and then stop and then rotate again, now I'm I'm changing the, the minutes. So again, I stop, rotate, it's the seconds. I rotate faster, stop, and then I can change the minutes, as you can see. It's a little bit tricky. As you saw, it didn't quite do it on the first try the last time around, but I'm going to try again. So stop using it. It's changing the seconds. Of course, if it goes below zero, it's going to be it's going to go to the previous minute, and if it goes past 55, it's going to go to the next minute because it is sequential. But if I go faster, stop, and then again faster, stop, and then continue. Now it's changing the minutes instead of the seconds. Now, if I wanted, for example, to go to 25 minutes and 30 seconds, so I stop at 25 wait a couple of seconds and then rotate again and I can set the seconds so that's pretty easy so that's for the timer I press it and it starts counting down when it finishes it's going to do a loud beep so I'm going to just reset it to let's see I do it fast and then I think I waited too long for that fast then stop okay there we go then rotate so now I get the seconds now I want to show you what the sound of the alarm is like so I'm going to just put five seconds stop and it does that it flashes the screen and there's the beep 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 if I want to stop it I just touch it and then it stops now it has some settings in the back and right now I have it at the medium volume Let's see, here we go. I have it at the medium volume and you can set it to silent. So here, if I set the timer, four seconds, and it's only going to flash the screen. There we go, no sound. So if I stop again, and this time I set it on the high, oops. Okay, it's on the high volume setting. And whoa, accidentally stop start the count time okay uh five seconds you can already hear that it's louder so i'm just gonna let it flash uh, or finish there you go it's a little bit louder it, i guess you can say it's twice as loud i don't really have a, a way to measure <laughs> the the noise level so you can also notice right now that um, the screen is bright and then after a couple of seconds it dims and then after another couple of seconds it's going to turn off okay this is the case even 
if the timer is going. So if the timer is going, I think it only dims. I don't remember if it turns off completely. We will see in a couple of seconds. Yeah, it remains dim. Okay, this is the battery saving feature. All right, so let me check how many levels of battery it has. Yeah, it only has two levels. So it's on eco mode right now. Again, this is the hot glue. And it's uh, the other setting is bright, so I can switch it up. And there, there's the bright setting and the economic setting. So economic will save the battery, which by the way are three triple A's that I don't want to remove the cover right now because I don't want to remove the hot glue. But here, if I start the timer, then it's just going to continue with the screen on until the timer goes off. So this is good if you want to keep an eye on the amount of uh, time that you have left. Of course, you can also do it in the economic mode, but it's a lot dimmer. And if you have trouble, if you have trouble looking at the numbers with the screen dim, then you can go ahead and use this uh, the bright setting. And again, the other difference is that on the bright setting, when you don't touch it, it's not going to first dim and then turn off. It's just going to turn off completely instantly. So again, I put it on eco. I don't touch it. It's going to first dim and then it's going to turn off. So interestingly, in economic mode, it the screen stays on a little bit longer, it seems. Or at least I, I don't think that it's twice as long. Let's see. Uh, five, four, no, there you go. It's quicker to turn off when, when it's not in economic mode. So uh, that's kind of interesting. All right, oh, oh, the last thing, functionality. If you press and hold, you reset it to zero. And if you press it when it's in zero, it's going to actually start a stopwatch instead of a timer. And just gonna go until you stop it. So if you want to time something to the second, not to the millisecond, because this does not have a millisecond. If you want to time something to the, to the second, then this is a good timer for you to use. Okay, so again, the screen is going to remain dim as long as the stopwatch is going. If it was on uh, high brightness mode, then it's going to remain in high brightness for as long as the timer, or in this case, the stopwatch is going. All right, again, you want to reset it, you can press and hold. You don't uh, well, I actually, I think you do need to reset it before you can set a timer. So let's see, I stop it at zero and yeah, you cannot change or set a timer if it was in stopwatch mode. So first you reset it and now you can set the timer. And you, you can see that again, I was turning the knob a little bit quicker, stop for a couple of seconds and then I rotate it again and now it's moving the minutes. So you can already see that it goes down to 99 minutes and 55 seconds, which is the maximum amount of time that the timer is going to run. Okay, so again, when it's in economic mode, it shuts off to dim and then shuts off completely. The screen lasts longer when it's in economic mode. A little bit counterintuitive, I think. I would, I would actually expect the duration to be the same, the difference being that in bright mode, the whole time is going to be bright until it shuts off, and then on economic mode, you know, half of the time bright, and then the other half dim. But it is what it is, I digress. So this is how you use the kitchen timer, and I use it in my home office. Um, I suspect I may have ADHD, I don't know if I do, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because for people with ADHD, it is proven that using a timer for your task actually motivates you to get into action. And I have tried that and it does work. Okay, I'm not saying it's a magical cure by any means. Uh, I do have to put a lot of effort on my part, but it is kind of a way to make the task a little bit more fun if you set a timer. So usually I will uh, let's see, I move it quickly and then stop. I think you gotta stop just for a second. There you go. 
I would set probably you know 20 minutes and I don't really care about the seconds I just set the timer put it aside and do my thing and usually what happens is that if I have trouble starting a task and I set the timer I will force myself to you know start the task it's like a competition that you get into with the timer and then by the time the timer is up I usually am already focus mode and in the zone as you say and I just keep on working so I just uh, silence it stop it or whatever and then just continue working until I finish whatever task that I'm doing so it really helps All right so this is it again this part is magnetic if you want to use it in, in your kitchen you can set it to any metallic surface so for example sometimes here in my home office I like to set it in the microphone arm like so and I can still you know set a time and press and there you go so this is it I hope you found this useful and if you did a like would be nice otherwise I hope to see you in the next one and until then may God bless you all